What's going on guys, Spidey here, and this week I'm gonna teach you guys the most effective way to become a master mentalist. And I'm even gonna share with you my number one secret for you to create your own powerful and unique mentalist. Check it out. Welcome back. So this week I'm making a video to answer one of the questions that I get asked the most often. As most of you know, every time I upload a video to YouTube, I stick around for half an hour to answer all your questions, whether it's about hypnosis, mentalism, my television appearances, my live tour, my collection of fedoras. So many fedoras! But one of the questions I get asked the most often is if I could recommend some books to help you with your mentalism skills. So that's what I'm doing today. I'm gonna recommend some of my favorite books for you guys, and some of these are for stage, some of these are for close up some of them are beginner friendly, some of them are a little, little more advanced, so I'm gonna tell you what they are and why they're my favorites. Also, make sure to stick around till the end of this video, because at the end of the video, I'm gonna give you my number one secret, my biggest secret for creating mentalism, which means you'll be able to apply it and start creating your own killer mentalism routines I promise you're gonna love this, so stick around for that. Okay, so we're gonna start with a little bit of controversy, a little bit of mental drama. If you ask all the mentalists in the world what the most fundamental mentalism book is, I think nine out of 10 will tell you that it is 13 Steps to Mentalism. Most consider this to be the Bible of modern mentalism. In fact, my t-shirt is the same, is the, the design from the cover of the book. It is a very important book, it's very well rounded, you're gonna really learn the fundamentals of all of mentalism, almost all the topics or branches of mentalism are covered, but the reason I say I'm gonna start with a bit of controversy is because I personally don't consider this my Bible of mentalism because I consider this my Bible of mentalism. This is Practical Mental Effects by Theodore Anneman. In fact, anything Anneman wrote, Anneman, Anneman, and Ain, Ain Man, Ain, Ain Man, what, I don't know how to say it, I guess it's Anneman. Whatever he wrote, uh, I love. All this stuff, if you get your hands on anything he wrote, check him out, but this book to me is incredible. First of all, it's very beginner friendly, also it covers a lot of fundamentals of mentalism, and you learn stuff that I, I use more things from here than from here. So, both great, both fundamental, both very inexpensive, you could find paperback copies of these very easily, but to me, Practical Mental Effects is one of the strongest books for the fundamentals of mentalism. While we're on the subject of Bibles of mentalism, well-rounded uh, books, uh, I must mention my all-time favorite mentalism book. This to me has no match. If you have to buy one book from today's entire list, to me, it will be this one, and it is Mind, Myth, and Magic from T.A. Waters. I cannot tell you how much this has changed my game. Usually I bookmark pages, and I don't know if you guys could see this, but almost every third page is, is bent here because I have to go back to it. It is so well-rounded. You have card stuff, big stage stuff, direct mind reading stuff, paper stuff, impromptu stuff. It's so well-rounded, it's so powerful, and there are some killer routines in this. My favorite mentalism book by T.A. Waters, Mind, Myth, and Magic with a K. Another one of my favorites, very much along those lines, is Prism by Max Maven. This, again, is a very well-rounded book. Basically, Max Maven wrote five booklets called The Color Series, and they were so well-received that eventually they were merged into one book. For those of you who don't know Max Maven, shame on you, for shame. He's amazing. Get his stuff, whether it's videos, whether it's booklets, whether it's books. He is probably one of my top three favorite creators of mentalism, and this book, is a huge testament to that. You're gonna get, once again, great stage stuff, great close-up stuff. Also, it's a lot newer than the other ones, so you get things that are still good today. They're still strong today. Okay, next up, uh, unfortunately, I think this next book is out of print, but I think if you do your research, there are PDF uh, versions of this, uh, but one of my absolute favorites is Unreal by Bruce Bernstein. Now, this is gonna be mostly close-up uh, mentalism, but Bruce is such a deep thinker and it shows in this book. There's great stuff with bits of paper, there's great stuff with cards, numbers, all kinds of stuff. And what I particularly love about Bruce is that almost for every trick, he gives you several other variations or other options of how you can do it. You know, if it suits your style a little bit more, he gives you, he says you could do it this way, you could do it that way, you could try this, here's another variation. So it really gives you 
routines with a whole bunch of different variations and a lot of the stuff in here is really powerful and ready to go. Really original, unique stuff. I highly recommend. Unreal. Okay, this next one is, is not something that I hear a lot of people talk about and I find that pretty unfortunate. And it's called What Lies Inside by Florian Severin. Vanishing Ink distributes this, so you could find it through them. Uh, I think maybe the reason a lot of people overlook this one is because it's mostly for stage mentalism, but there's some really original, really strong stuff in this. So if you're watching this and you're more of a stage guy or you, you're trying to put together a stage show, I highly recommend looking into this. There are some wonderful routines. In fact, there's a routine that I do that a lot of you have asked about where I hold up my palm and the spectator hallucinates a drawing on my palm and I predict what they were gonna hallucinate even if there was nothing there. It's something I do a lot. I've done it on TV a bunch of times. If you haven't seen it, click above or check the description for a link. You can go see that effect. The secret to that effect is actually in this book. I'm gonna regret having told you guys that, but it is. It's in here. I know a lot of you are fooled by that. It's in what lies inside. And what lies inside is my palm trick. Okay, now I wanna talk about a couple of authors without speaking necessarily about any specific books that they've written. Uh, Banachek, I've got uh, Psychological Subtleties by Banachek. Banachek is a great author, phenomenal mentalist, uh, the real deal. And Psychological Subtleties is, I would recommend this for beginners because these are these little subtleties that are really gonna elevate your existing repertoire to new heights, really make it seem like you're doing real mind reading. It's phenomenal stuff, but I think it's a little more advanced, so I wouldn't start here, but I recommend it for any mentalism student. I also want to talk about Barry Richardson. Barry Richardson is, again, one of my top authors in uh, mentalism. All this stuff, I've got his three books here, Theater of the Mind, uh, Curtain Call, and Act Two. And again, you could see how many pages I've marked. There's some great stuff here, close up, stage. I really recommend it. A lot of stage stuff, honestly, a lot of stage stuff, but also some really unique and powerful techniques that are very original and I highly recommend. Now, it should be almost illegal uh, for me to make this video without talking about Bob Cassidy. Uh, Bob Cassidy is a mentalist who left us, I, I think it was last year or in the last two years, and it was very sad for me because he was an excellent mentalist and an excellent author. So, look up Bob Cassidy, uh, read all his stuff. It's all so good, so creative, so unique, so powerful. Uh, he pretty much innovated some of the biggest mentalism effects that mentalists are doing today. So look into it. The Art of Mentalism is one of my favorite books on the subject, but the reason I'm not showing you his books is because there's so many that you wouldn't even see me. So look him up, Bob Cassidy. All this stuff is incredible. Okay, now before I go, I promised you guys my biggest secret, my number one biggest secret for creating mentalism, and I'm about to tell you. Now this is something I've never shared except for at my lectures, and I don't even talk about it at all my lectures, but this is going to allow you to create your very own mentalism, and it's a really powerful technique. So here's what I want you to do. When you've bought any of these, Prism, What Lies Inside, Practical Mental Effects, Unreal, any of these, once you've picked these up, oh, mind with the magic. When you've picked any of these up, here's what I want you to do. You're gonna open the book, you're gonna go to the first trick, or any trick, and you're gonna read the effect. Because these mentalism and magic books start by telling you the effect, what the audience sees, then they tell you how to do it but you're not gonna read the part on how to do it. Just the effect. You're gonna understand what the trick is. Then, you're gonna close the book, you're gonna set it aside, you're gonna go do something else. Watch a movie, go to work, go to school, and all day in your head, try to figure out how you would do it, how you would do that effect. You see, the advantage that books have over videos, something videos will never have, is ambiguity. In the book, they give you the gist of the effect, but there are certain details that you don't see, and those blanks, give space for your creativity to come to life. So what I do is I just read the effect, close the book, set it aside, and then I think about how I would do it. You will be amazed and surprised how many times, give it a day, give it a couple of days, but you'll be surprised how many times you're gonna come back, you're gonna read the method, and what you came up with is completely different. By doing that, you force yourself to come up with maybe something new that the author didn't think of, and often, very often, it's more practical, or it's better, or it works better for you. I've done this so many times. Some of my best creations are me having read this book, closed it, set it aside, tried to think of a way I would do it, and came up with a method that was not in the book, and then I took it in a different direction and created something completely new. So that 
right there is I think, honestly, my, my most valuable secret when it comes to creating mentalism. A big part of me honestly just wants to cut that out of this video. I hope you guys appreciate how powerful that is and how much it'll help you create your own mentalism. Thanks for watching guys, as always, please hit that subscribe button, turn those notifications on, comment and like, and I will see you soon.